Hey, what's up, racers? Rez here, and today we're going to be playing some Dirt 5. Um, I just set the settings to just to lower the master volume so you can hear me talk. Uh, prior to this, I did the intro race that uh, is kind of standard in all arcade racers now, where you know you get dropped in and you kind of get a chance to try out the game. And um, I don't know. Um, I'm not in love with this game yet. It feels like aggressively trying to be hip and cool, I guess you could say, but maybe it'll grow on it. So let's go to uh, career mode and see what it's got for hey us. There. If you're listening to this message, then uh, congratulations. Not only did you enter your details correctly, but you also impressed me. Impressed me enough that I'm going to invite you to the AJ Racing Academy. Now, as you may have guessed, it's been set up by yours truly, and my one and only goal is to push you out there a bit more. Throw you in the deep end and see if you can swim. Make Team AJ a dominant force in the world of extreme motorsports. So, no pressure. Well, oh, that's you all signed up. Welcome to the club. Um, by the way, if you hear that jet engine taking off Listen, in the back, that's my PlayStation. to get up there and wreck some tires, but just hold up a minute. I've curated a whole bunch of events you might be interested in, and I'm giving you, yes, you, the luxury of choice. No need to thank me. See what takes your fancy and just jump right in. If you find a style you really connect with, then by all means, stick with it. But you can always mix it up with something a bit different. Hey, you never know where you might make a name for yourself. And this is all about making a name for yourself, right? Yes. Alright, so we're going to skip that. And let's just pick this event. I guess we're doing a shoulder. What happens when you combine street racing and off-road terrain? Off My god, this game is really annoying. I'm not going to lie. Just want to race. I really just want to race. I'm going to pause it right here to check the audio. I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back. Um, audio, audio volume seems to be okay, so uh, let's see what this ultra cross thing is. And here we go. So, oh, God, the music. All right, so I hope you guys can hear what's happening. Um, I've got this on uh, default settings and I'm playing with a controller so I'm going to be using just uh, the chase cam. Oh, I'm just through but a little bit too much handbrake. Definitely want to use the handbrake early to get through the turns. So the positives you can see right away, the game looks really, really good. Um, Gameplay-wise, it's a lot like, I guess, Sega Rally, you would say. And the reason I bring up Sega Rally is because I really don't play the dirt games all that much. I play Dirt Rally, um, but that's a like a hardcore rally simulator, which is not what this is. This is a total different game. This is the equivalent of Forza Horizon. Like, Dirt Rally is Forza, but a more realistic version, and Dirt by itself is Forza Horizon, where it's just kind of a more fun playful kind of thing with a festival atmosphere and you know the, the cool music I guess I'm sorry the music really just kind of irks me in this game uh 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 that sucks that sucks I don't think I'll be able to catch up it's not the end of the world matter of fact let's just restart let's just restart and get do this right this time And as I was saying, so I'm using a controller because I read online somewhere that this game does not yet support steering wheels, which is fine with me. And it's an arcade racer, I'd rather play with a, a controller anyway. And before that reason, you know, I'd rather just use Chase Cam. Ah! The settings are default, so it's medium difficulty, it's automatic transmission. I'm not really interested in changing gears unless I'm using a wheel.
uh, I may have to um, just up the difficulty later because the game is the game is does feel pretty easy right now. Because remember, this is like only the second time I'm playing this game. Now this part of it's cool. You can see how the music just gets louder as you get through the grandstands. But again, it's just it's aggressively trying to be cool, which it, that really just irks me. Because Forza Horizon has the same problem, in my opinion. And I like Forza Horizon. So, anyways, we're kind of killing it over here. I just got to make sure we keep it on track. Sense of speed is pretty good. Ooh, that was terrible. This is actually the first track in the game, like the demo race that I told you guys about when you first start. Before you can do anything else, this is the track to go on. So at least I have a little bit of experience here. Um, the driving is pretty easy, and the driver aids are actually set to like low, like the ABS is low and things like that. So, um, but again, it's an arcade game. It's not going to punish you the way uh, an actual rally scene would. It feels grippy. Um, the drifts feel with the handbrake feel natural. I'm using the handbrake in just about every corner. You know, I'm not trying to throttle drift or any of that stuff. The driving's fun. I like it. I like the driving so far. It's going to be interesting to see what this game is like on the PlayStation 5 with the dual sense. I'm hearing a lot of really interesting things about dual sense of like variable pressure in the. Um, and the triggers. That'll be interesting to see how they implement that. I'll definitely be getting this if I like this game. I'll definitely be getting it on the PS5 as well just to see what it's like when I eventually get a PS5. I don't have it on pre-order now. Um, I tried when when Sony dropped the news of the price. Uh, I tried to stay awake. I tried to stay up and get a pre-order on Amazon. And <laughs> I fell asleep, woke up, it was already sold out. It is how it is. It is what it is. And I'm probably better off because the second run of their console will probably have less issues than the first. Oh, I almost crashed there again. Okay, got some rubber banding going on, so I'm actually going to lose this race. Yep, oh no, no, no. I think I'm going to uh, keep him back. So I won, but that could have been better. And I'm sure that's not going to send me world records. But hey, we're on the top step of the podium, car's a little bit damaged, that's okay. Again, it's, it's aggressive. It's aggressive in its coolness and its hipness. It's, it's just bowling me over. I swear games like this remind me of the Poochie episode on The Simpsons, where it's just like, you know, it's just racing a more proactive kind of thing. All right, let's see, Kabaka Town. Uh, can I afford another car? Where's... Is this... This sounds like Raging Against the Machine, is it? I don't know. Ah, it's still locked. Okay, I guess we're going with this guy. Okay, let's get to Fabia. Rally Raid is a start-to-finish, point-to-point race through beautiful, natural landscapes. Okay, that you won't uh, have that's, that, that's fine. That's fine. Let me just drive. I don't know if it's Raging Us Machine, but this 100% sounds like Zach Delaraca. I don't know if it's him, I'm just saying it sounds like him. Okay, yeah, the loading times are a little bit slow, even with on a PlayStation 4 Pro, which is what I have, the loading times are slow. I'm showing up fleet PS5, the load times will just fly by. But meanwhile, you got this really cool music to listen to. It's great art to look at. Alrighty, let's go. Oh, we got rain? No, we don't have rain. So again, the graphics are really, really nice. I mean, the game looks great. And this is a tarmac rally, so I don't think we'll be doing all that much drifting. And then, well, so much for that. Right into the dirt. And it's a trees. Now this is point to point, so this is just one lap. Whoa. 
Yeah, there's no, I'm not going to win this. I'm already way too behind. This is one of those where I have to practice on in order to win, if I care, which I'm not sure I do. I got a sharp left coming up. Did you see that? Did you see that? That was like Jedi. Oh no! That was not Jedi. I really need to <laughs> stop talking all that track. Okay, I really need to study the track map. Always pay attention to the track map on a familiar track. I almost had the lead there for a second, and then, you know, I zigged when I should have zagged. Ooh, we got some hard SS coming up. This is going to be interesting. Okay, pull the handbrake too early. Yeah, it's going to get ugly here. This part's cool. Like, all the dirt getting kicked up. Uh, that's, 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 that's pretty neat. Let's see if we can make some positions. Doing okay, doing okay. Okay, uh, hairpin. Ah, I'm trying to use these guys to pour them through, but I keep hitting the handbrake too early. I actually don't know if the game has a rewind button. I haven't even tried to like attempt any kind of rewind. Now, here's the interesting thing. Um, I've heard that on Steam, this game is getting like mixed reviews. Some people like it, some people don't. It's like a 50%. At least that's what I read on Twitter. Um, so far, even though I'm not like in love with it, I, I, I still feel positive about it. But I don't feel like I've wasted my money. Granted, it's very early in the game. But it's all about the driving. The driving's pretty darn good. Now the weather's starting to turn. This is cool, because remember, I don't know if you noticed it when I started the race, but it said 100% chance of rain, but it was sunny when the race started. Now, obviously, it's raining in this part of the course, so we're going to have less traction, but the weather effects are actually really cool. It doesn't feel any more slippery. I still feel like I've got the same amount of grip. Yeah, I think just one airborne. Mm, might go off here. No, I made it-ish. But... Race is over, and that was pretty terrible. That's not going to help me win any sponsors. Okay, not too bad. Let's do one or two more events so we can uh, just get our initial impressions down. All right. So the J Dragon. So Nolan, speaking of the current crop of racers, did you remember the name of that rookie that you were telling? This is me interesting. About? What is this? I don't even care what Land Rush is. We'll figure it out as we go. You don't need to explain it to me. We will figure it out. Ah, uh, I'm sorry if I come off like a music snob, but this is just like it's it does the same thing as every one of these like old trying to be cool games does from the last SSX snowboarding to Forza Horizon to this. It's just it's all the same. And honestly, if I keep playing this game, I'll probably turn the music volume down to zero. I don't know why I haven't done that already, but it at least gives you the vision and give you an idea of what the soundtrack is like. Because they spend so much money on these soundtracks. I mean, and it's just, ah. All right, but anyways, here we are in China. Two-lap race. Um, and this Touareg, see if it feels any different than that Shkoda. It really doesn't so far. It's slower. Control-wise, it feels more or less the same. It's not any harder to drive. It's going to be easier to drive. It looks cool, that's for sure. It's definitely slower. Oh, man. Come on. Let's 
go. Step on it. Step on it. Easy left. Grip and right. Use this guy to turn around. And now we're in third. Man, I... PlayStation, can you hear it in the background? It is screaming for mercy. That's how you know this thing's using this thing has some serious graphics. One of those like your PlayStation starts to sound like a jet engine taking off or jet engine spinning up. Yeah. Rain effects are really cool. Rain effects are very, very good. But they're not really affecting like traction in the game. I, I don't notice any difference, if I'm being completely honest. And it should feel slippery, and it should feel at least different to driving in the drive, but it just doesn't. Like, I wish I could drive this well in real life. Let me put it that way. I could drive a real car, a real truck like this in real life. You need to handbrake? Yeah, we can do. And then you need to handbrake in the next one, too. But right about here should be okay. Just kind of tap it on that one. And then we're going to just easy left follow by here from right. So, and you got to... Getting the timing right in this direction is so tricky, but I think I kind of got on that one, but it killed my power too, so I don't know. The truck's definitely dirty. There we go, there we go. I really do like the driving in this game, I really do. And I love the way these cars look. Okay, so that was fun. That was fun. I liked it, but you know, winning's always fun. Let's do one more event, and then uh, let's do this one right here, because this this one, once I finish this, will probably unlock these other ones. Um, but I'm kind of running out of PlayStation recording time, so let's finish this. And I'll give you guys my initial impressions. Maybe do a tour again? Perfect. I really like this car. Hey, what's that sound? This we'll figure it out. We'll skip this and we will figure out exactly what is going on. Loading times, man. <sighs> but if you have a PlayStation 5 or you're one of the lucky few that are getting it, um, you can always get this game for it. I'm sure the loading times will be. The loading times aren't that bad, but still. They'll be faster than PS5. Uh, let's see what we got. Uh, another two lap race. I'm gonna watch the. Watch the track map a little more closely this time so I don't get caught out like I did in that one race where I would finish seventh. And we got a hairpin coming up right here. Uh, basically, have to play some bumper parts to get through. We got hairpins. And it makes sense for these mountain courses to have these hairpins. So we're just downhilling on this one, but we're going to back up eventually, I would assume. And this is a multi lap race. Uh, again, love the scenery. I uh, love the dirt effects. How does the traction feel? How does driving feel? Yeah, about the same. I do like these Touregs. Um, they're not as fast as that uh, as the rally car, but I mean, they're, they're still fun to drive. Oof, man. Definitely an arcade game. Come on, keep pushing. Let's go. Let's go. And when I say pushing, I don't mean the truck keep pushing. I mean, let's keep the pace up. Alrighty, coming to a fork in the road. I think I'll go left. Come on. Alright. By here. When are we going to start going back uphill? Okay, here. 
I guess I already did. I almost missed it. <laughs> I guess I just didn't. Whoa! I'll never see that in the real rally. <laughs> That's kind of dangerous. Oh, let's go. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Uh, pull this hero in here. Uh, here from right. And looks like we're getting a little bit of daylight. Just need to pay attention. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Those arrows over there. I, I think I'm using arrows. Hit the e break there a little bit too early. Alright, a bit of a 90 degree uphill. And. Oh, one's a tight right. I'm <laughs> turning into my own uh, co driver here. Hmm, one mistake. One mistake like that cost you like six positions. I kind of deserve that. I definitely deserve that, because I was winning, and I made a mistake, and I knew it was a mistake as soon as I did it, and that I want to be break too, too long, and too deep into the corner, pulled all my momentum, and there it is. So I do deserve to lose for that result, for that mistake, absolutely. And I don't think I'll be able to make up enough spots. And I'm in fourth now. And unless there's a turbo button that I'm not aware of, I'm going to stay in fourth, and that's okay. Not the end of the world. Okay, so I'm going to give you my final thoughts here. Um, so far, so good. The most important thing is the driving, and the driving is fun. Um, even at a medium setting, on my first attempt, the AI is providing enough of a challenge, and of course you can always adjust it. Um, it feels good to play with uh, with um, with the D-pad, you know, with the controller, it feels fine. I don't know if it supports wheels yet, I'm not going to try it, but if you don't have a wheel, don't worry. You know, Just like I'm sure any other arcade racing game, you can have a lot of fun with this with just a controller. So, so far right now, it looks like it's worth the money. This definitely looks like there's a lot of contact. What I, contact, what I don't like uh, is it, just like this forced coolness of it, and the, the, the soundtrack, the overly aggressive soundtrack. It's, it's trying too hard. It's trying too hard, but you know what? You can turn that stuff off, so who cares? Um, so, so far I like the game and I'm going to keep playing it. I might make a few more videos if you guys want them. And that's all I got for now. Until, until next time, Rez out.